welcome back. So, what we are going to do today is what we have done first I will discuss that briefly. So, we have seen the force balance for a particle tracking and we have seen that how the kind of different forces like electric forces or magnetic forces or any forces affect the particle motion. We have seen how in presence of the drag, buoyancy and gravity the particle motion is being changed. So, what we have covered till now is the particle motion or the pressure drop calculation for the gas liquid flow or liquid liquid flow in two phase flow and gas solid flows. So, two phase flows we have completely covered whether it is a gas liquid or liquid liquid or gas solid. Okay. So, that is what we have covered. Now, in everything what we have seen that the drag force play a very important role and how to calculate the drag force. So, the drag force below Reynolds number 1 which is called a Stokes regime we have already defined the formula and we said that below Reynolds number 1 it is C d upon 20, uh, C d equal to 24 upon R e. Okay. So, that is what we have already done that if below Reynolds number 1 C d will be equal to 24 upon R e. Now, whatever we have done whether it is for gas liquid, whether it is for the gas solid, okay, the gas liquid can be also extended to the liquid liquid. Everywhere the drag plays a very critical role and we need to understand that how this drag force will be calculated. And during the class I always keep on telling that different correlations are available for the drag force. For below Reynolds number 1 this correlation is fixed, this is called a Stokes regime and in the Stokes regime we have already known that drag is 24 upon R e, but what happened below Reynolds number more than 1, Reynolds number of particle more than 1. Okay. Then we do not know actually that how the drag force will be defined. So, for that there is a graph available which plot the C d versus R e and I think I have already discussed that graph that that graph is available which is along the C d versus R e this is C d and this is R e. So, there is one way that you can always go to the graph for your Reynolds number okay. and Reynolds number of particle once we say either it is a particle or based on the discrete phase say it is a bubble, it is a droplet anything you can define the Reynolds number and Reynolds number will be what? Reynolds number of particle will be d of particle into v of particle into rho of fluid upon mu of fluid. So, that is the way Reynolds number of particle has been defined. The particle can be bubble, particle can be droplet, particle can be solid. So, there is one way that the people have plotted the C d versus R e. One can go to C d versus R e graph, see that for respective Reynolds number what is the value of the C d and based on that you can calculate the drag force and drag force is being defined as half rho of fluid into area into C d into V square or it is the slip velocity square. Okay. So, let me write it in terms of the slip velocity. So, I am writing it as a V minus u square. So, you can write it in, in that way. So, you can calculate the MD. What we need is only C d. So, the one way is the graphical method, but the problem is if I am writing a numerical solution, if I want to write a code, I do not want the code should be or my program should always go and look for the graph because it will make the program very slow or the system very slow, even your calculation very slow. So, what we want? We want the people have done several experiments and different ex people have done experiments for the different conditions and propose the different drag laws. This I have already told that there are several drag laws is available for Reynolds number greater than 1. What we are going to do now? We are going to discuss some of those drag laws which are popularly used or widely used in the multiphase flow field and we will try to understand those drag law. And then those drag laws actually do what? For a particular experimental condition they give the correlation between C d which is a function of R e. So, they are going to give the correlation and we are going to discuss those drag laws. They are very, very critical because in all your programming, in all your calculation you use drag drag law instead of using the graph and based on that what you have to do? You have to calculate the C d value, that C d value will be used to calculate the F d value and this F d value will be used in your equation. Okay. So, in that way the whole equation solution you can get and you can find that the drag correlation. And as I said that drag is a very important because it is acting between the mean motion, mean velocity of the particle to the mean velocity of the fluid. Okay. So, this is a very critical force. So, now let us again go back and I am writing the same equation which we have discussed a particle which is moving 
Okay. In vertically, I am neglecting the buoyancy, then what we will be writing that suppose the particle which is moving down, then I will write m d v upon d t is equal to f d plus m g. This we have already done. So, if I write it for that, it will be what I can write? I can write the f d in terms of half rho f a c d, I can write u minus v whole square plus m g. Okay. This is the way we have solved it all the problem hour. Now, what we can do in several places to define the C d people have defined another value which is called f and that is called as a drag factor and the whole drag equation f d can be written as in terms of the Stokes drag. Now, what is the Stokes drag? It will be 3 pi mu of fluid into d d of particle okay, into I will write as a f and I will u minus v okay, plus m g. We can also write this equation in terms of the Stokes drag and we can define a function which is called drag factor f and drag factor f is defined as C d into R e upon 24. It means what? It is the ratio of drag factor, drag value C d, drag coefficient value to the value of the Stokes drag. Okay? So, I can say that it is actually C d upon 24 by R e. So, drag coefficient divided by Stokes drag. stroke drag coefficient and f is being defined and because I am writing in terms of the Stokes drag f d I have changed I have modified it in terms of the 3 pi mu. So, f d we have written as 3 pi mu of fluid d f into u minus v. Okay? Now, f if you will write it, it in this form whatever the way we have written what will be this? This will be 3 pi mu of f d into f will be C d into R e, R e I am writing in terms of the v u minus v because based on the slip velocity u minus v okay, into rho of fluid into d of particle, this is particle d of particle divided by mu of fluid into 24 okay, and u minus v. So, if you will see this, this equation what it will be? It will be 3 into pi d p square okay, into mu f mu f will be cancelled out into rho f into c d okay, into u minus v whole square and this divided by 8. Okay. So, if you do that this will be actually 24 sorry this divided by 24 if you do that this will be 8 and we know that pi by 4 d p square is area. So, it will come as a half a rho of fluid C d u minus v square. So, that is the way it has been defined, it has been converted. So, what people have done? People have defined a function which is called drag factor okay? and drag factor this drag factor f has been defined as the ratio of drag coefficient at that condition divided by the Stokes drag coefficient. So, in that way we get the f value and the Stokes this equation can also be defined in terms of the f and if Stokes regime flow, if the flow is under the Stokes regime, it means if R e is less than 1, if R e is less than 1, then f value will be 1. So, for the Stokes regime f value will be 1 and you will get that in the Stokes drag law, it will be nothing but 3 pi mu f d p into u minus v. Okay? So, in that case f d will be equal to 3 pi mu f d p into u minus v. So, this you will get okay, the f value will be equal to 1 that is nothing but equal to the Stokes drag which you have already done we have already discussed that. So, in that way we can define. So, what we can do we can write the equation d b upon d t into mass of the particle mass of the particle I can write it as rho of particle into the volume of the particle and volume of the particle can be written for the spherical particle it will be pi by 6 d p q and that will be equal to 3 pi mu of fluid into d of particle into f 
into u minus v plus m g m into g m of particle into g. Now, if I divide it by this the m of particle and m of particle will be cancelled out here you will see a value which will be 3 pi mu f d p into f u minus v ok this will be 6 will be multiplied here. So, you will see 18 ok now it will be rho of particle d p cube into here it will be coming pi and this will be equal to g because m of particle will be cancelled out with the m of the particle. Now, if you see that this d p and this will be cancelled out. So, this will be becomes d p square. So, rho p d p upon 18 mu f will be nothing but tau this pi pi will be cancelled out. So, we will get an equation which will be f upon tau into u minus v plus g that will be d v upon d t where we know that tau is nothing but is equal to rho p into d p square upon 18 mu f mu of mu. So, that is the way we can reduce it to do that place and we can define the drag forces either in terms of the f or in terms of the c d. Now, why I have said this because some books we will see the c d value, we will see the drag value, drag coefficient value, how it is going to change with this r a for the different correlation, but some books write the correlation in terms of the f which is drag coefficient, some book write in terms of the c d ok which is the drag coefficient. So, one should not get confused or you should not get confused if you see the terms in terms of the f. f is nothing but the drag factor and the whole equation will be modified at it in this way. So, I hope now you can easily convert if you see some correlation somewhere in terms of the drag factor or f or in terms of the c d you can interchangeably use those parameters and this equation we have already developed. Now, what we need we need the value of f we have developed the same equation in terms of the c d we need the value of the c d or if we need the value of f once we have done that we can track that how the particle position is changing with the time or how the particle velocity is changing with the time and how the particle in all number is changing with the time we can do all those things we can find the particle trajectory completely. So, for that now what we need we need the value of f or value of c d and several researchers have done lot of work and they have tried to find it out how to calculate the f value or the c d value ok. They have performed the experiments and we will briefly also try to discuss the experiments that how the experiments has been performed what is the advantage and disadvantage of each method and then we will discuss those things. So, the f we have already discussed is nothing but drag factor which is c d upon 24 by r e. So, the first correlation actually not the first correlation per se, but the most important correlation which is widely used for the gas liquid application people also use it for the liquid liquid, but it is more commonly used for the gas liquid application is the Schiller Norman correlation, Schiller Norman drag correlation. Now, Schiller Norman drag correlation is actually being developed in 1933 and it has been developed for a bubble which is rising in a liquid. So, in that that is why because it is developed for that it is being widely used for the gas liquid correlation the accuracy is very high for the gas liquid, but people also use the Schiller Norman correlation for the gas liquid, liquid liquid and even for the gas solid or for the liquid solid all those places people use, but the accuracy is really there for the gas liquid system. So, Schiller Norman correlation says that the experiments was performed for the moving drop bubbles for the different sizes for different condition and it has been found that the drag factor f will be nothing but is equal to 1 plus 0.15 into R e number R e r Reynolds number or relative Reynolds number raised to the power 0 0.687. Now, what is the R e r? R e r is relative velocity it means it is v minus u velocity of the fluid minus velocity of the particle into rho of fluid into d of particle divided by mu of f. Based on that it has been defined and Schiller Norman claimed that this is valid for all the Reynolds number ok. So, anything which is Reynolds number more than 1 it will be valid and you can calculate the f value that is the claim of the Schiller Norman made in 1933 ok. 
and they have said that that it can be used for anything because the basic parameter remains same that one particle is moving in a liquid or in a kind of a fluid. So, this has been used and this has been widely used even now this is one of the correlation which is still valid and predicts the equation or predicts very well for the gas liquid application. However, it has been found recently that this correlation do reasonably good for the gas liquid system for a null number less than 800. So, please see this value this is very critical that it do the good job for a null number less than 800 Re is less than 800. Though the Celia Norman claim that it can be worked everywhere, but it has been found with the literature many people have used this and they found that if Re is less than 800 this correlation gives a good prediction of F for the gas liquid system not for the gas solid for the gas liquid system. Okay. So, this is one of the correlation has been developed and it is a pure empirical correlation you can see the value all the constants they are empirically fitted constant they have, the experiment has been performed for the different conditions and based on that the empirical equation has been fitted the C D versus R E plot has been given or F versus R E plot has been plotted and then a empirically fitted equation has been developed and because this has been fitted for all the Reynolds number they assume that it will be valid for all the Reynolds number for all kind of a flow but lived time it has been found that this is only good for the gas liquid system for the null number less than 800. So, that is the way it has been comes and this is called Steeler Norman correlation widely used for the gas liquid. What happened thereafter Putnam has actually did some more experiment in 1961 I does not mean that between 1933 to 1961 no one has done anything people has worked on that, but I am just discussing those correlation which are widely used in the literature for either the gas liquid or liquid liquid or gas solid application. So, I am discussing very few there are lot of correlation available you should not get confused these correlations are most widely used correlations and most of the literature if you will go see the papers on the gas liquid 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 or gas solid you will see these correlation frequently used. So, Putnam in 1961 has given one correlation for the F and that correlation is F is equal to 1 plus Re raise to the power 2 by 3 divided by 6. It has been again developed for a solid sphere suspended in a fluid and then again RER is based on the relative velocity. So, it will be again the same RER will be nothing but is equal to u minus v into rho of fluid into d of particle divided by mu of fluid. So, they have done this and they have found that this is for RER less than 1000 they fitted a empirical correlation that is 1 plus RER raised to the power 2 by 3 divided by 6 and for RER value greater than 1000 and less than 3 into 10 to the power 5 which is a big neuron number they found that F is equal to 0 0.0183 into RER. Please see the correlations these all are empirical fitted correlations. So, do not get confused that why these odd numbers are appearing these odd numbers are appearing because these all are empirically fitted correlation experiment has been performed plot has been drawn between the F versus RE and whatever the, the F versus RE things has come they have fitted the correlation. So, what they have done they have break the graph in two part one is RE less than 1000 and one is RE greater than 1000 to 3 into 10 to the power 5 ok and then they say that ok the F value for the initial part is nothing but 1 plus RER raise to the power 2 by 3 by 6 and F greater than 1000 and less than 3 into 10 to the power 5 it is 0 0.0183 into RER. Now, what these correlations are doing I do not need to go on the graph I can just keep on doing the calculation I can write my program and I can do the correlation I can find the correlations. So, that is the Putnam 1961 correlation for the F. After that Morsi Alexander has found a correlation in 1972 and this is also widely used for the gas liquid system also for the liquid liquid system. The Morsi Alexander has developed the correlation in terms of the CD you can also write it in terms of the F what you need to do you just need to multiply here by 24 by RE. So, if you want to write the same correlation in terms of the F I just do not need to do anything I have to just multiply this 24 upon RE A 1 plus A 2 upon RE ok. 
plus a3 upon r e square that will be f correlation okay because f is nothing is equal to c d upon 24 by r e okay so if i want i have the c d correlation i want a f correlation what i need to do i need to sorry the here i need to divide it so this is the c d correlation i need to divide it by 24 by r e not the multiply by 24 by r e so this will be r e upon 24 this will be r e upon 24 I have to divide it by 24 upon R. The C D value I will get the F. So this will be R E upon 24, and this will be what you will get that North Sea Alexander factor in terms of the F. So you can interchangeably be used. Some books you will find the correlation in terms of the C D. Some places in terms of the F. I have written in terms of the F in the original paper. If the value is given in terms of the F, I have written here in terms of the F in the original work. If the value is given in terms of the C D. i have written in terms of the cd but you can easily interchange cd to f and f to cd okay so if the correlation is given in terms of the f you can easily convert it in terms of the cd if the correlation is given in terms of the cd you can easily convert in terms of the f okay so this is the way you can write and they said that this fitted it in terms of the constant and they said that the cd actually works in a polynomial equation form which will be a1 a2 upon re Plus a3 upon r e square. It means what the c d is inversely proportional to r e, and they said that this equation is valid everywhere. And they found that they follow the Stokes law only for r e is less than 0.1. So though we say that r e is less than r e p is less than one, the flow is in the Stokes regime. But Morse Alexander found that r e is less than 0.1. It is following the Stokes regime. because if you put this value what will happen the a1 value will be zero okay if i put it here the a1 value will be zero a3 value will be zero so what you will get you will get cd is equal to 24 upon r and they are saying that this is valid if r is greater than zero and less than 0.1 above than that this is not valid so stokes regime is not valid at all and they have given the different correlation and they said that if r is greater than 0.1 and less than 1 then you are not getting the stokes regime equation you are getting the value of a1 you are getting the value of a2 you are getting the value of a3 though the value of a3 is very close to 24 they said that for r e p is less than 1 and greater than this you are getting the value which is cd will be equal to 3.69 Plus twenty two point seven three upon R E plus point zero nine zero three divided by R E square. So it will follow this. It means Morse Alexander found in their experiments that a Stokes regime is valid only for Reynolds number which is less than point one. And how they have performed the experiment? They have suspended a solid object in a moving fluid. And they have performed the experiments. For the different flow rate, different velocities, different Reynolds number, and try to find it out how the drag force is actually changing. So this experiment has been performed. This is widely performed. They have performed the experiment for a huge set of data, huge set of conditions, and they have found that the particle was suspended and the fluid was passing through it. A sphere was suspended and fluid was passing through it, and they found the value of C D. they have written it in terms of the polynomial equation and the value of coefficient they have found for the different reynolds number so these all are the value of coefficient for the different reynolds number you can see this table the only one interesting parameter they have found that rep or reynolds number less than 0.1 is only falls under the stokes regime ever than the 0.1 it doesn't fall under the stokes regime okay so it is something very close but is something different and you will see that the a1 and a3 will also have some value okay similarly if you keep on increasing the value you will see that if the coefficient value is keep on changing and somewhere you are getting the value in minus it means now the value of the drag force will be actually keep on reducing so they have performed the experiments and they have performed the experiments for lot of renal number and they have break it and they said that for renal number greater than 10000 the value is remain same always so this is also used widely for the gas liquid and liquid liquid systems to calculate the cd value or f value and found that the accuracy is quite good but many times the seller norman predicts better result compared to the morse alexander so if you are writing or you are simulating or you are trying to solve the gas liquid equation or liquid liquid equation 
the two equations which are widely used or commonly used one is Schiller Naumann and one is Morsi Alexander. Okay. For a null number less than 800, it is found that Schiller Naumann and Morsi Alexander performs approximately good, approximately well, or approximately same. And for more than 800, the Schiller Naumann accuracy is really poor, and Morsi Alexander in that conditions is being used. So, this is the way it has been developed. After that, Schuch et al. in 1978 has actually developed another correlation for the CD. and they have said that the cd correlation is nothing but 24 plus 1 plus 0.15 into re raised to the power 0.687 so if you will see this this is equal to the schiller naumann correlation so this is equal to schiller naumann so schuch et al says that the renal number greater less than only 200 less than or equal to 200 the schiller naumann correlation is valid after that the schiller naumann correlation is not valid they have given another correlation for null number is greater than 200 and less than 2500 sorry this sign is opposite way around this will be less than 2500 they said that this null number this value of the cd will be valid and they said that for null number more than 2500 your cd value is always constant and the value is 0.4008 so they have said that now schuch et al says that what you are getting is that your renal number is the schiller naumann correlation is only valid for less than 200 renal number less than 200 while most of the practical application it has been found that schiller naumann do well reasonably well for renal number less than 800 but as per their experimental data the schiller naumann correlation is good only for renal number less than 200 okay after that they have given another correlation so that there are several such correlation available everyone have their own opinion everyone have their own equation i am not discussing that if you want to follow you can follow the paper you can follow the journals you can follow the journals in international journal of uh, multiphase flow you can follow the chemical engineering science chemical engineering journal aichi or any multiphase flow books and each multiphase flow book if you will see you will see a different correlation has been given or different set of correlation has been given what i am doing i am just summarizing something and trying to see those give you those correlation which are widely used cisco et al is also used for the gas liquid and the liquid liquid system and is found well and many people have used this correlation to find the value of cd however most of the correlation whatever we will see other than the morsi alexander people have tried to write the correlation in terms of the schiller naumann and they have modified the coefficients like this and they have tried to change if the schiller naumann is not valid they have just tried to fit it empirically and found the different correlation as per whatever the value they have got so now based on that again another correlation has been developed and this is a graph actually which i have taken from the literature where the experiment has been performed for the fluid and fluid it's actually gas liquid simulation we have done the simulation for the gas liquid and we have tried to compare the cd versus re for the different correlations so if you will see this correlation and i have used the three correlation which are widely used schiller naumann schuch et al and morsi alexander okay so morsi if you see this correlation values then what you will find that the schiller naumann morsi alexander and schuch et al approximately predict well approximately till this point they are predicting equal okay and that is the point where renal number is around 800 so that's what we said that i keep on telling that if renal number is less than 800 then schiller naumann do a good job so schiller naumann schuch et al or morsi alexander all three are approximately same once your renal number goes beyond 800 then what happen you will find a difference and if you see that above 1000 the schiller naumann actually doesn't change anything the value of the drag is almost remains same okay so they are not doing anything scotch at all if you will see above 2500 their value is still same if you see this values the pink color curve okay if i zoom it little bit to show you so if you see this this is constant schiller naumann constant after around 800 or 900 this value is not changing and that's the region that schiller naumann predict good only till 800 because after 900 it values remains always same after that if you see the scuj et al the 20 after 2500 the value is almost same because that says that the after that the value will be around 
0.4008 and Morsi Alexander if you will see they are keep on changing because this is based on the polynomial equation they are keep on changing. But above 10,000 if you will see the Morsi Alexander what they are saying they are saying that your drag value is actually now increasing with the Reynolds number your drag value if you see here is actually increasing if again I zoom it. So, they are now increasing that is why the Morsi Alexander is valid only up to 10,000 of Reynolds number after that because it is the equation in the polyno reverse polynomial and the value is in terms of the minus also it will increase ok. So, what we found that if you are having a Reynolds number which is definitely less than 200 everything is same around 200 everything is approx exactly same between 200 to 800 there is a slight difference, but still the Schiller Norman correlation is very close to all other predictions. After that what happened Schiller Norman correlation gives a flat correlation flat value while the other correlation keep on giving you the different values which you can use and the application and that is what they predict the different drug coefficient. So, for Reynolds number less than 800 that is why it is found in the literature that the value of the schiller norman correlation predicts a very good for Reynolds number less than 800 after that one should either use the morse alexander or sketch drag coefficient. If you are not very sure about your Reynolds number that how your Reynolds number will change how much it will change then one can use the morse alexander or sketch model to be independent of the Reynolds number if you are not very sure that what is your Reynolds number. But because these all are having different correlation Morsi Alexander is computationally expensive because what you have to do you have to again go see your Reynolds number check your value of A1A2 from the table and then use that value it takes long time. So, if your Reynolds number values are less Morse this uh, correlation Schiller Norman is having only one single correlation. So, it is very fast ok it respond very fast while if you have to scotch and all then what you have to do you have to put a loop you have to find a search thing that if your Reynolds number is less than this use this correlation if your Reynolds number is less than more than 200 less than 2500 use this correlation if your Reynolds number is more than 2500 use this correlation. So, if I am writing a program I am writing thing I have to put a search loop I have to use a if command ok that is going to take time. So, if you are very sure that if your Reynolds number is not going anywhere more than say 500 or 600 or less than 800 one should go for the schiller norman correlation. If you are not sure about the Reynolds number one should go for a scotch or one should go for Morsi Alexander. Now, they all are computationally expensive scotches Morsi Alexander is more computationally expensive compared to scotch ok, but only again if you are sure that your Reynolds number is less than 2500. So, based on that your flow condition you can use any of these Reynolds number and they can provide a good value a good correlation for the CD value and which can be used to predict the drag force ok. So, predict the CD and from the CD you can calculate the drag force. So, that is the way for the gas liquid and liquid liquid system has been used. It does not mean that people do not use for the gas solid people have used it for the gas solid, but the accuracy in the gas solid is really poor ok because why it has been developed either for the liquid liquid or a solid which is suspended and the fluid is moving like Morsi Alexander. So, in that case mostly it is a drag on the fluid and that is why they are actually working well with the fluid fluid system ok. So, the next is the gas solid system and I hope organ equation you all been must be knowing from your undergraduate studies from the basic flow through the pack bed you will be knowing the organ equation which is being developed in 1959 to calculate the delta p in the pack bed condition and that has been used as the drag coefficient ok. So, this is the organ correlation I hope you have already known this, but I am just introducing it this is the organ correlation in terms of the superficial velocity which you have might have seen in your previous courses that uh, USF is nothing but the superficial velocity and they say that delta p upon l is nothing but is equal to 150 mu f usf into 1 minus epsilon f where Simon f is nothing but the pack bed wide fraction and the value is f around generally at around 0.4 epsilon f value. Then dp into epsilon f cube plus 1.75 rho f into u f square 1 minus epsilon f upon dp into epsilon f. So, this has been actually break the organ equation is of two part one is for the pressure loss due to the viscous drag 
this is for the viscous drag and this is due to the inertial drag ok which we have already discussed that the skin drag and frictional drag. So, this is because of the, the first term is called Cohn-G Corman correlation and that is actually the correlation because of the viscous drag. The other one is called black plumber and black plumber is mainly because of the inertial drag. So, the whole Argon equation is being found it actually represents the pressure loss because of the inertial component and because of the viscous component the way we have done earlier that how the delta p will be there ok. So, there will be inertial component there will be the viscous component there is the gravitational component ok. So, this is the viscous this one is the inertial. So, that is the way the whole drag has been formulated in the argon equation this is written in terms of the superficial velocity if you want to write it in terms of the phase velocity then what you need to do we know that the correlation is nothing but epsilon f into u will be equal to u of superficial. So, what you will get you will get the gas phase velocity or that phase velocity inside of the system instead of the superficial velocity. So, you can co change the correlation in terms of the phase velocity to get the drag because drag is going to act whatever is the velocity inside not only the velocity which is on the outside of the system. So, it is going to act on the inside velocity or the phase velocity. So, the argon equation you need to modify in terms of the phase velocity and that is what you need to do you have to just divide it by the USF divided by the epsilon f you will get it in terms of the u. So, this whole equation can be changed in terms of the phase velocity and that will be the way we will calculate the drag ok. And now this has been found that the argon equation is valid mostly applicable when the void fraction is very low or the solid fraction is very high and it gives very good result up to the minimum fluidization velocity. So, what we can do we can also write in the argon equation because we want to write always in terms of the relative motion because both the gas and particle might be moving. So, we can also write in terms of the relative equation it is in terms of u minus v. So, the phase velocity will be what instead of the phase velocity we can write it in terms of the relative velocity. So, it will be epsilon f u minus v into it will be equal to usf. So, the overall superficial velocity will be equal to what it will be epsilon f into u minus v that what is the slip inside. So, what you can do you can change your correlation in terms of the argon equation in terms of the relative velocity you can see this the relative velocity. So, what I have done I have replaced it the usf will be equal to u minus v into epsilon f. So, if you do that instead of epsilon f cube here it will be epsilon f square here instead of a square it will be epsilon f. So, we can write it, it, it in terms of here delta p upon l will be this will be the viscous drag term this will be the inertial drag term in terms of the relative velocity and you can use this and this equation can be used in the drag form in the two phase flow equation we will discuss this later I will not uh, discussing it here, but this beta value you can use here. So, this is the argon drag equation which is also used for the gas solid flow, but this equation is very accurate up to the minimum fluidization velocity. It means in the pack bed regime this equation is applicable this equation predicts very well, but if you move from the pack bed regime to the fluidized bed regime then it will not work well. So, what is done? The other correlation has been developed and when and u has developed a new correlation which is based on that the beta value and I have written it in terms of y I have written it in terms of the beta because here we were writing in terms of the f d. The equation we have developed we are writing it in terms of the f d and f d was nothing but half rho of fluid c d into uh, your area into u minus v square. So, instead of f d we have defined it, it in, in terms of beta which is a coefficient into u minus v. So, what will be the beta value? So, beta value will be given as this correlation because now you have a solid fraction inside the beta value is given as 3 by 4 c d rho of gas or you can take it rho of fluid epsilon of fluid or epsilon of glass into epsilon at the minimum fluidization velocity condition. So, this is minimum velocity condition and u g minus u m upon d p m ok. So, what is the velocity? So, this is the way it has been defined the beta value and they say that the c d 
which is again this is going to be the function the C D will be in terms written they have written in, in terms of the Schiller Norman correlation for Reynolds number less than 1000 and they said that the value will be equal to 0 0.44 which will be constant for Reynolds number is more than 1000. So, when and you has used this correlation and this Reynolds number they have defined it in terms of the slip velocity. So, this is nothing but rho g and please see that they have multiplied here with the epsilon g because instead of writing the USF superficial velocity now I am writing it in terms of the phase velocity and phase velocity in terms of the slip velocity. So, that is why epsilon g into u g minus u m where this is u m is nothing but is the velocity of the solid is the relative slip velocity into d of p m. So, d p of the particle into mu g. So, that is the way they have defined the whole correlation this u m and d p m. Okay. So, that is the way the Reynolds number has been defined. So, in instead of the superficial velocity they have defined the Reynolds number in terms of the phase velocity or slip velocity and that is epsilon g into this. So, when and u correlation has been developed in 1968 I think I have to check that, but it is in around 1968 and they that is for the gas solid systems though they said that it will be valid everywhere, but it has been found that it is very good for gas solid system where slip velocity is high. Okay. So, if the slip velocity is high they give good prediction and generally they have found that this valid is value is good if your epsilon epsilon of y epsilon of g is greater than 0 0.9. So, it means for very dilute gas solid flow this correlation has been found very good they able to predict the C D value, but if the value if the drag force correlation is not good if the C D value is uh, your particle fraction is very high then the accuracy of this when and u correlation is not found to be well. So, that is the way it has been discussed and it has been found and they have defined it in terms of the beta the two phase flow equation has been modified we have already discussed the two phase flow equation, but instead of the FD they have defined it in terms of the beta into V minus u the slip velocity and the beta has been given it in this term. So, these all are empirical correlation that is why you are seeing the different values epsilon raised to the power minus 2.5 and all these all are empirically fitted correlations that is why they have defined it, it, it in this way. There is a region of epsilon raised to the power minus 2.65 and we will discuss it later, but what is the main important parameter is that C D the C D has been defined as 24 upon R e into 1 plus 0.15 into R e to the power 0 0.687, which is nothing but Schiller Norman correlation again. That is why the Schiller Norman said that my correlation will be valid for all the condition, but it has been found that it is good do well for the gas liquid, but even for the gas solid for Reynolds number less to the 1000, when and you said that the Schiller Norman correlation gives good predictions. Okay. And after the 1000 the value becomes 0 0.44, but later on it has been found that when and core u correlation is only valid for very dilute flow or the solid concentration is very less and white fraction is more than 0 0.9. So, that is the way the when and u correlation has been found to be applicable. Later on much later in the around in 90s Gidaspo has given a drag correlation and again they have written in terms of the beta and beta they have defined exactly same way the way the when and u have defined and they have found that this beta has been defined it in two form one when the wide fraction is more than 0 0.8 and when the wide fraction is less than 0 0.8. So, when the wide fraction is more than 0 0.8 they have defined the beta exactly same way as the when and u correlation has been defined. When the wide fraction is less than 0 0.8 they have defined the beta in terms of Ergon equation in terms of the slip velocity or the phase velocity inside. We have already discussed this correlation. So, what will happen? The beta value they have said that it will be modified and then they said that the C D value will be the same as of given by the when and u correlation that if the R E value is less than 1000, the C D value will be 24 upon R E into 1 plus 0 0.15 or 0 0.687. And if the C D value is more than 0.44, it will be followed by this correlation. So, it means what? If your wide fraction is greater than 0.8, the drag factor will be nothing but it will be when and u correlation will be used. If 
you wide fraction is less than 0.8, you are going to use Ergon correlation. So, what Gidaspo has done? Gidaspo has merged both the correlation and they said that if your wide fraction is very high, as I said that when and you correlation is valid or give good accuracy, if your wide fraction is very high, it means your flow is very diluted. That is what Gidaspo correlation did that if your wide fraction is more than 0.8, one should use the when and you correlation. If your wide fraction is less than 0.8, one should use the Ergon correlation. So, that is the way they have defined and RE also they have defined in terms of the slip phase velocity or in terms of the slip velocity. So, this equation has also been developed. So, what we have done? There are several other correlation has been developed and if you keep on seeing the paper lot of correlation has been developed recently HKL correlation has been developed for the gas solid where they said that they have also introduced the bubble property inside ok. In this cases the bubble property has not been introduced. So, we will see what is the bubble property once I will discuss the case study in terms of the fluidized bed. So, what we have discussed what we have seen till now there are several correlation available with a bunch of correlation available. And that is the problem in the multiphase uh, simulation or multiphase prediction that your accuracy of the prediction will be limited to the accuracy of the drag closure which you are using. Okay? So, if you use different drag closure, you will have a different accuracy altogether. Okay? So, that is the whole crux and one should know that which drag closure is going to help me and that is why one should understand that drag closure is being developed for what conditions for which Reynolds number it is valid, for which condition it is valid and then only you can have say that my predictions are good. If you are using a wrong drag correlation like if you are using Seeler Norman correlation for the gas solid blindly then what you are going to do you are having you are going to hamper your accuracy. Though now you can say that the Seeler Norman correlation has been used for the Gidaspo also and when and you also for which is widely used for the gas solid. But what they have done, they have modified the drag and they have modified the drag in terms of the beta and beta they have defined differently. So, if I just use FD value the way we have defined in terms of half row A C D V square upon 2 the way we have defined earlier and you use the C D value from the Schiller Norman correlation your prediction will not be good. So, we are able to get that because we have modified the beta value, we have modified the FD in terms of the beta and slip velocity and beta we have given in terms of we have introduced the void fraction, we have written in terms of the phase, phase velocity, we have also multiplied with the solid fraction inside or the discrete phase fraction inside into epsilon s power minus 2.65, why we have done that we will discuss it later. Okay. So, what we are going to discuss later, we are going to discuss whatever we have done till now is a single particle drag. Okay. Now, in most of the practical application, the single particle never flows, it is the bulk of the particle which moves together. Now, once the bulk of the particle will move together, what will happen? The one particle is going to affect the motion of the another particle. Okay. Like in hindered settling, which you have done might be in your initial courses okay, where they say that if one particle I am settling and if there are multi -particle, multiple particle which is being settled, what will happen? The other particle will hinder the settling of the other particle, they will hinder the settling of each other and that is why a richardson jackie correlation has been developed which says that how the settling velocity is going to change in terms of multiple particle. So, what happen when the particle plow cloud is generated? how the part drag coefficient will be modified in case of if the multiple particle is there. So, if there is a multiple particle what we do we write the equation in we modify the drag correlation and we multiply the drag with the Richardson Jackie coefficient and Richardson Jackie coefficient is nothing but epsilon raised to the power n and the value of n depends on the particle fraction. So, we will see that if you have a particle cloud how the things will change. And what we will see, we will see the other forces which will also act. So, right now we have discussed all whatever we have done, we have limited our discussion to the drag force, to the buoyancy force and to the gravity force. The other drag also act in the fluid flow system depending upon whether it is a gas liquid flow, depending upon whether it is a gas solid flow. Let me again tell you that the whatever the discrete phase equation I have solved by using the Newton second law of motion. It is not needed that you do it only for the gas solid 
even if you can do the same equation you can write it in the same way for the gas liquid if the gas is in form of the bubble or for the liquid liquid if liquid one liquid is in form of the droplet. So, if there is a discrete phase whether it is a particle, whether it is a bubble, whether it is a droplet you can do whatever we have done for the discrete phase. Okay. So, we can use the New Newton second law of motion, we can track the bubble motion, we can track the bubble trajectory, we can track the bubble position. Okay. Similarly, we can track the uh, in the liquid liquid system we can track the droplet position, droplet trajectory, droplet velocity how it is changing. So, everything you can do we have done it for the gas solid, but does not mean that that is limited to the gas solid. It can be gas liquid, it can be gas solid, it can be liquid liquid. The only thing is the one phase should be in the discrete form. If it is a separated flow okay, or annular flow of the gas liquid or liquid liquid system definitely you cannot use this Newton second law of motion. It is only for discrete phase. Okay. So, next class what we are going to discuss, we are going to discuss that how the multiple particle is going to affect the drag force and the other forces which act on the fluid solid system or the fluid fluid system only the one phase should be in the discrete phase. Thank you.